have an entire factory running.
Hey. What? But. <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things. And then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now. And I don't know what to do, except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay. So that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So lame all right you are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes you do bad shit and things i don't know if i love you and i'm pretty sure i hate you a little bit but i'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other and you're just a drunk lame dad you know what that might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me so will you buy me a car what i mean not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go, get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star, sort of. I think mom's at Bean Machine. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, s stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been, it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not, not pretend it was there. anything to Just do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes seconds. with automatic weapons and blacked-out windows. They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah, okay. That'll work. Okay, here they are. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little... Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen... Shush, here. woman! Hey, Amanda. Hello. Fabian. Michael? Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two... A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, 
I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted to... I'm meaning to say to you, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! <laughs> I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. No yoga. <sighs> All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. Think you a tough guy? Fuck you, Gabriel Queso! You are so dead. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, sure. I had a great time, too. Nah, no, never mind. What do you want? Oh, come on, man. Not again. How can you get so many tickets? I mean, how? I'll go with you. But you must promise me. Without a job and the drugs, of course. It's bullshit. I'm a grown ass man. Good 
to see you. You all right? Hey, buddy. Here's a tattoo shop. Looking for something hip that you know says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you gotta do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh, uh. Come on, just not the tongue. I need that for my work. Ugh. Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah! Oh. Ah. Ah. Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah. Oh, my God! Ah. Papa Bear! What's Daddy Number Two gonna think about this? Ah. Ah. Let's not get him involved. Ah. Ah. Let's do... Are, are we gonna match? Ah. Please don't tattoo a cock. Just relax, okay? Should I draw his three pubic hairs? There we go. Nice. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. You fucking asshole, I'm a celebrity. Oh, oh no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean... I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Uh, yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy. <laughs> My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your Sully's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. I love you, guys. But everybody's so damn like a whole bunch of carrot stuff. quality in this city sucks. Don't even go there.
will get naked and smoke weed. These people are nothing. Sorry about that. It's all cool. I'm going to be the bigger person here. Sure. What, you want to ask me? yesterday. Oh, sorry, that must have hurt. I'm sorry. Did you want to walk here? Please. Let me get out of your way, douche. Get over yourself. So what if the investors won't get their money back? They're making art, right?
smoked out last night. I think I knew a guy. Dummy. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> you still owe me a drink. Show. Oh, yeah. I wondered if I could postpone the medical uh, until next month. Um, month. hello? Just get Give me something. I don't need this. 
It's no fun being old. I don't mind hey, counting. Hey, man, what's up? Uh, not yet. Time was. I'm what the fuck, dude? Got no more. What matter, dude? <laughs> Show some respect for your I elders. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Fighting. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh, but... great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! So, will you drive us home?
look, I'm down for whatever. Fuck you, pendejo! The new bow oh, exhibit at the museum is amazing. Oh, yeah. Listen, bro. Whatever. Because we're not out bowling with hip oh. getting off between. What's happening? Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? Kids? Rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel.
last one standing. Again. Hey, Mike. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection! Architect on site! Like shit. Hey, I'm homeless.
bet you did too. Do I have a minute to talk about my telephone internet? Got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access through the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want to mop. Okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things, to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us.
Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Let's see if we can find him. I last saw him around the corner. Hawaiian snow. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what name. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. Here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you what meet this you guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Well, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. Babe, stay on the go. I, I was signing autographs for the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? Yeah, yeah, the videos. Oh, well, now you just got to find a way to make money out of it. <laughs> we found this prick? Not yet. Okay, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own star. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on you! Let's go! He's not so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Yeah, well, now we're the ones who are going to do something. All kinds of things. Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk. Seriously, I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy.
creepo. I'm her father, not a sugar daddy. You've raised a great kid, Mr. Sucks. Very entrepreneurial. I'm sorry this happened to you, baby. There's some real creeps out there. Yeah, guys from the strip clubs, the drunkards. Hey, 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 that ain't me anymore. She's a lovely woman. You've done a great job. Yeah, well, it's hard raising kids in this town. Come here, scumbag. was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess he really scared me, but I, I didn't want... Well, then pretend it never happened. Like, I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good, that's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. No creepy stalkers in this joint, honey. Just creepy brothers, killers, drug dealers. Thanks, Daddy! Bye! I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. To keep making their word processing software less. Big Daddy in the house. <laughs> oh, the things we do for our health. Drinking grass? Really? Ugh. There's a reason why most people haven't heard of fucking tail. Ugh. 